Hey guys, this is Computer Techie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a drop shadow effect on the text layer in GIMP. So first, open up GIMP. And once it's opened, you want to go up to File, and then click New. doesn't really matter what the dimensions are, you can make them whatever you want, and then click OK. Now you want to open up your text layer, so click on the A. It, this is the text tool, and just draw a big rectangle across your picture. I'm going to type in Computer Techie. And then once you've done that, um, you can change the font if you want to. I'll change it to my regular font that I use. Hold on one second. There we go. And then you can make the size larger if you want to. Make that a little bit smaller. And you can change the color of the text. I'll just keep it black. Let me make this box a little bit smaller. Okay, and once you've done that, uh, you want to go ahead and position it wherever you want it to be. I'll position it somewhat in the center. And then you want to go up to Filters light and shadow and click on drop shadow with this you can determine the offset X the offset Y the blur radius the color and the opacity I'll change my color to a blue and then click OK and click OK again and then it should make a drop shadow like that although drop the drop shadow is a separate layer so you could really move it around as much as you want to so you can move it like right here, um, like lower left hand, upper left hand, upper right hand, lower right hand. You can put it wherever you want. Uh, I'll just put it right there. And then you can merge down your text layer and merge down your drop shadow layer. And then that's pretty much all you have to do to make a uh, drop shadow. If you uh, want to save it, go up to File and then click Save As. Uh, whoops. Save as. You can name it wherever you want, but after you give it a name, be sure to type in .jpg. I'll save it onto my desktop, and then click Save. Then click Export, and drag the, the quality to 100, and click Save again. Then you can close GIMP, and here's what it looks like in the end. Uh, that's pretty much all you have to do to make a drop shadow. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment or send me a message. Thanks.